someone is telling me a record. I, I had not thought about it. Or I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Uh, anyway, so one of the things that we need to, to know is that um, as a distributor, we have four, we call it three, we call them three daily success habits. I don't know which is which, but one, you must use the product. Please don't sit back there and say, I don't have money. If you don't have money, good. That's the reason you're in this business. Because we want you to learn how to make money so that that money can help you buy product. You start with yourself. I remember when I started, I couldn't even afford the small omega-3. We used to have an omega-3 of 30 capsules. I was very broke because of choices I had made in the past. I was not good with my, my money. I, it was too little. There was too much to be done. But I was told, Gladys, if you want to make money, learn to sell the product, then the profits can help you buy the business. I mean the product. And even the, the, pro, the, the, the bonus checks you get in the future, it will help you. That money will help you buy product. So there is no excuse. You must learn to use a product. If you don't have money, you pull with your relatives to buy even if it's one product and you share. Then you tell them the next one is this amount. Can we pull? We buy. That's the way to go. So this story of saying I don't have money to use is the language of the week. And we want to be strong. And that's why we are here. Number two, you must share the product. And many people come to this and say, I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to talk to people. That's understandable. We all never knew how to eat. We never knew how to walk. We never knew how to run. We never knew how to, to write. We never knew anything when we were born. But now we know because we were taught and we were open-minded as children. And that's why even God says you must be like a child because a child is eager to be taught and they, they sit behind, they sit down humbly and they learn. So you must learn to share the product. If you are shy, learn to get information because when you have information, you have something to tell people. And remember, anytime you want your life to change, life changes when you take action. So fear is not the absence of, I mean, when you have fear, even the people who do big things, they fear, but they act. And in that acting, you go conquering the fear and you're able to do what you're supposed to do. Then you share the opportunity and you train. And so that's why we are here to train, to equip ourselves. So today we are looking at uh, immunity as, a, as one of the things. And we are, we are all in this together. Yeah, we need to know we are all in this together. And... Um, The other thing I want to say is that you are going to bear with me. I'm having a, a, a machine I'm not used to using. Uh, what we are being told is that we are, we are losing the battle when it comes to health. And because of the chronic diseases we are seeing in the world, heart disease, cancer, chronic diseases, stroke, Alzheimer's, diabetes, chronic, all these have something to do with low immunity. They all have something to do with low immunity. One, at one level or another, if you study closely and understand that. Um, and for you to say that you are eating well, you, you need to understand that diet is critical. How are you eating? Diet is very, very critical. The other thing is exercise. Are you living an active life? During this corona, we've seen people not doing things as they should. Um, so we, we, are you sleeping? the right time? Are you having your eight hours of sleep? If you don't get your eight hours of sleep, are you napping? You know, there's a time you need to do a power nap if you didn't sleep well, very important for your body to repair. I mean, sorry, I'm mixing up. That was rest I was talking about. Then there's exercise where you need to live an active life. I, I, in fact, I was doing another meeting just now. I was telling people, when you visit your older parents and then they just like sitting because they are not well, it is not good. They must learn to move, no matter how laborious, no matter how hard it is. Teach them that daddy, mommy, uncle, you need to keep an active life, no matter how you're feeling. Even if your bones are cracking, push yourself to live an active and alive a little bit. Are we taking two glasses of water? Remember, water is the one that flushes our system. Our systems are clogged. 
they have a lot of toxins and that is part of the reasons why even our immunity may go down. So you need to make sure, even you here as a distributor, are you doing your, your, two, your two liters of water on a daily basis? For men, they need to do much more because they are larger and they sweat much more. And um, men, they are exposed more to, uh, to toxins than women sometimes if they are in the industries, if they are drivers, um, they are always on the road. They, 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 they are always, some are smoking, some drink. They need to do a lot of detox. Sunlight, exposing yourself to sunlight. We have the luxury of having the sun, but our skin is dark. So even absorbing that vitamin D is not as easy as Amzungu. And at the same time, we don't do it deliberately. The days of basking looks like they were, they were, they disappeared. We used to bask when we were young. And you'd remove, you, you bask when you are scantily dressed so that you absorb that vitamin D. We don't have time for that. It's a challenge, but we need to. And then, of course, breathing. You need to practice breathing exercises where you are breathing in and out for you to get good energy. I mean, good oxygen, because your body needs that. The other thing is you need to manage your weight. Because when your weight is bad, many things are not right. Yeah. So we need to learn how to calculate our BMI and that of our customers. So if you're having a phone, you can take a screenshot if you're, or you can take a photo of that. You need to learn to calculate the weight, the BMI for your customers um, so that in case there's a challenge there, even as you tell them about immunity, about disease, uh, the thing is um, you are able to, to, to work that journey with them where they are working towards that. Then of course the issue of diet. Diet is very, very critical. Um, how we are eating, the choices of how we eat, very, very important. Then, then the new findings about uh, immunity right now. We are being told that um, immunity, in this COVID season, the immune boosting products are very important for immunity, like vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. They are being sung all over, not to mention things like garlic, not to mention things like omega-3, anti-inflammatory. Some people are having going down because they have heart conditions, then COVID sets in. So all those things, are be, they have been researched widely and we are being told they are very, very important. Very, very important in the season we are in today. There are the other biological challenges that come to us for our immunity to go down. It could be bacterial, it could be viral, it could be molds, it could be allergies, agricultural chemicals, industrial chemicals, pollution, whether it's air, food, all those challenges that we, are, we could be seeing. Uh, those challenges you can see there, they, they affect our immunity. So the question is, is your body having the defense mechanism to fight them when they come? Because they do come. We don't know when they come. We don't know where they get them sometimes. And so we need to have something that will protect us from those. We have several lines of defenses in our body. Some are non-specific barriers. There could be external, you know, like the skin, the mucus, membranes. Those ones, they protect us, you know, the external factors. Then we have the others that are the second line inside. The, those soldiers that are patrolling, we are told white blood cells fight for us. The T killer cells fight for us. So you need to know that now inside you have those specific ones. Then we have some true immune systems like the B cells, the T killer cells, lipophytes, I don't want to go into that, antibodies. And those ones, they need to be trained. And that happens through our diet. You know, the, the, the way you are eating will determine how well are all those killer cells? How well are they prepared to fight for you? Uh, there are reasons why our bodies may dysfunction. There are reasons for that immunity dysfunctions. It could be hereditary. Some people naturally have immunity going down because they have that in their genes. You know, the DNA keeps changing. You know, all that stress levels, Radiation, lack of exercise, we've talked about that. Bad habits like smoking, pure di poor diet, drugs. You know, all those deficiencies, pollution. We've looked at the immunity system and I told you we have many things that are helping us fight for our immunity. Whether it is the T killer cells, the B cells, they are there. 
to actually fight for us. And we need to really make sure we buff them up, all of them, in a broad spectrum. So because many times people ask, so why should I take so many products in the name of the immune boosters? Each of them go to do a different thing. So whether it is zinc, what zinc does, vitamin C will not do. What vitamin C does, D will not do. And that's why you need to understand because of that complexity of the fighting, that's how we need to have that broad spectrum. Now, when it comes to immunity, you need a good diet. So why do you need a good diet? Number one, to strengthen your immune system. That one, it depends purely a lot on diet, you know? So it is very, very important. Your immune system depends on the nutrients to survive. So that's the only way they can survive. That's the only way they can fight for you. What are the key immune health nutrients according to the scientific words? You'll be hearing words like phytonutrients. Like when you look at carotenoids, they come from the phytonutrients, plant-based nutrients. We have things like antioxidants. Antioxidants are the ones that fight oxidation. Because oxidation can put your immunity down. You need to understand that. Anti-inflammatories. You know inflammation is where you are, you are hurting. Like when you fall down, you get soreness on your skin. That is inflammation. You need something to come and counter that inflammation. And a lot of inflammation happens within us. That is why anti-inflammatories are there. Then probiotics. And that explains the reason why when you're talking about set, giving someone immunity, there's a reason you're giving them vitamin C, you're giving them omega-3 in that pack, you're giving them uh, uh, omega-3, you're giving them carotenoid complex, and maybe some probiotics. In this case, we may not have probiotics, but garlic can come in for now. So we need to eat well and understand how our eating will affect all that. Now, we need to know, every time we talk to people, we must explain the healthy food pyramid. Where down there, we need a lot of whole grains, the bread, the grains, the oats, and they must read whole meal, whole grains. There's a reason they need to be whole because of the oils that are in the jam and the fiber part of it, very important for the body. Then the fruits and vegetables, you need a serving of more than six servings per day. And as we look at the products, I will talk more about the fruits and the vegetables and the combinations and why you need a minimum of six servings in a day. Then, of course, we are talking about the good protein and the white meat is better plus the plant-based protein vis-a-vis -vis the animal-based proteins. We are not saying animal-based proteins are bad, but they must be eaten in moderation because of other elements that they bring in our body, like they make our body acidic. Uh, that can compromise our immunity. And then, of course, the fats and sugars and how we've inverted that pyramid upside down. I'm sure many of us, when we see this, it resonates a lot with how we live our life. Very, very important. So the solution, new life solution, you know, we have a scientific advisory board yeah, that gives us that solution. I'll be talking about the elements in the provitality. We know that the provitality has a tree and end there that comes to take care of the oils that are depleted when we sift our food. When you go to the portion mill and get number one grade of the unga or from the shop, it is lacking that oil that is needed for your cell membrane. And all the cells I showed you earlier there for fighting, they have a membrane that needs to be maintained. So even before you think about boosting immunity, is the cell well lubricated? Is it having the oil that needs to take care of it? Then we have carotenoid, I'll not talk about it at this point. Omega-3 is an anti-inflammatory. And then of course, the mixture of all the vitamins and minerals. And so provitality become one of the best packs that you can give somebody for the chronic diseases as a base and as well as immunity right now. So even when you find that we don't have zinc, we don't have vitamin C, we don't, you, you, you need to be comfortable selling a provitality because it has all those elements in it. And I suggest we all get a pack of provitality and read all the vitamins and sometimes the milligrams because people will ask you, so how much zinc is there? How much is there? If you tell them there's some bit of zinc, there's a bit of vitamin C because you've read and seen that. So provitality is a very important uh, element 
And as you can see there, it has the tree and then the grain concentrate to feed your cells. It has carotenoid to protect your immunity. It has omega-3 uh, to balance and regulate your cells and it's an anti-inflammatory. And then we have the mixed blend of the 21 essential vitamins and minerals. So provitality will be there. And when you look at the benefits in the provitality, even in your catalog, you can see in there, there's the heart health. Many people with heart challenges are getting affected by COVID a lot in this season. You can see there's the immune strength there because of the anti-inflammatories and anti, uh, antioxidants we've seen. So that in itself is a plus to tell you that provitality is a good product. Uh, in that provitality, we've seen there's the omega-3 because of taking care of all the cells. You can't boost immunity if the cells are not given their base, and their base is the lipids and steroids. So when you correct your cell that way, I'm just explaining what is in the provitality, and you also understand when you sell TNN on its own what it does. So you find that it does a very good job. And now it can be able to utilize any other thing that you take. You can see when people take tree and N, there's improvement of the utilization of any other nutrients or supplements, enhanced cardiovascular development, growth, hormonal issues. Then um, those are the key benefits. I'll not go into that. Then we go to phytodefense. Phytodefense has the base six servings. We are talking about fruits and vegetables. What are the basics? The basic six. We have uh, uh, the carotenoids, which come three of them in phytodefense. We have flavonoids, which come two tablets in the phytodefense. And we have one called cruciferous. So when we tell people about fruits and vegetables and having six servings, it means that there is the three servings of carotenoids, a mixture of carotenoids, the two servings of flavonoids, and the one serving of cruciferous. So that even when they are making their fruit choices, all those categories are represented. The carotenoids, the flavonoids, and the cruciferous. I suggest you go to Google, Mr. Google, and ask him, what are carotenoids? You'll see a lot of information there. Even in the catalog, when you go to our catalog, uh, where there's a page for the, the car carotenoid complex, you will see the sources of those products there. Then there's a page towards the end of the, the, the supplements where there's a page for provitality. It also explains all these products and their sources, the sources of this, the supplements and the fruits. So carotenoid in itself, it's a very serious immune booster where you boost your immunity by 37% in exactly 20 days. What does that mean? Many times the normal... Um, the normal immunity of a normal person is about 65 or there about 60, 60, 60%. Someone who is very, very well in terms of immunity. But when you take your carotenoid complex, this will push you to 60 plus 37, you are at 97. That means your immunity is seriously high. And that's what you need at this time of COVID. Okay, if your immunity was compromised and it's at 40, and you take carotenoid and you add 37, that means now you're at 67. You are above the normal range of immunity. Now you need to understand the reason why some people have their immunity going down and some people immunity is high and they never catch colds as often. They never catch bacteria. They'll not get TB. You know, you can be in a matatu as a group of people and somebody has TB, and he will pass it on to somebody who is across there, and the person next year may not get that TB. What does that mean? The immunity level. So let's not take these things for granted, and just know that COVID is here with us. The question is, is our immunity high? For the children, we have uh, carotenoid, um, we have what we call uh, Vitagard. I will be showing you. For the CNN, we have the Vitagard. Okay. It has three and any need. So those benefits are there. Please read them more in the page where we have our, our catalog. The other one is cruciferous, where you need a serving per day. This is also a very serious immune booster. Very, very serious. 
and it neutralizes the aggressive toxins in the body. Yeah, so it's a very good product. And on top of that, this is one of the products that will remove any growth that are hidden in the body, that are not too excessive, small cysts, small uvimbe here and there. It will help you remove that. And pain, it helps if like you have pain for the people who have things like fibroids and they have a lot of pain. When they take cruciferas, it really helps them a great deal. And even people who have cancer, young cancers, cruciferas can crucify some of those and unnecessary oxidative threats. So it's a very good product and both for men and women, let's not take ignorance about it. Once in a while, do your cruciferas. Then the flavonoids, they, they, they come from the, the, the fruits that are a bit bitter, a bit um, sour, like the lemons, the oranges, and it has its benefits there. So you need to understand also more about flavonoids. It's also very good for anti-cancer or even for cancer patients. It really helps in inflammation. And it's an in, uh, cancer people with a lot of joint problems. And sometimes they've been taking calcium, they've taken their, they've taken their full motion and they're still not feeling at their best. Flavonoid can really help in the joint areas. Um, so there we are, uh, provide a phyto defense. So you can choose to sell the product as a phyto defense for the people who can afford, because it's not cheap, I can tell you for sure. One sachet of provitality, phyto defense, is, it has three carotenoids, two flavonoids, and one cruciferous. If somebody can afford, it goes for about 13,000, it's a great product. If somebody can't afford, you can sell it in either carotenoids or flavonoids or cruciferous. And for prevention, you can be alternating them over time. And remember, we have the small, the small carotenoids. So when you can't afford the big one, you can always buy the small carotenoids. And that goes for three and n. We have the small pack. That goes for omega-3. When somebody is challenged, the first three products, we have the smaller packs that can really help. So we have those benefits. The other thing is now garlic. Uh, garlic is very important because of bacterial. It, it is an antibacterial, it's antifungal. It, th those viruses when we were beginning, the moths, the viruses. Um, there are quite a number of bad names you can give there that are in that category. So garlic is a, a natural antibiotic. It's very good for people with pressure issues. Is very good for people with cholesterol issues. It's very good for men because of their prostate. It's one of the things that maintains the prostate very well. It's very good for people with uh, allergies. If people have allergies of the chest, then the nose, the throat, they're always having irritations. Garlic is a product you need to take for about two to three months. People with, it has also other benefits in the stomach area. People with gastritis, People with uh, challenges in the stomach or even worms. You know, we are supposed to deworm three, three times a year. Garlic is a good dewormer. And when you're doing it as a dewormer, you need to take nine tablets a day, three times three. Finish the pack, you'll have done it in form of a dewormer. But in this case, we are looking at it as an immune booster. It is a very good product, <clears throat> especially this time when people are having breathing problems. Um, the... The COVID virus, when it stays a lot in your throat area and your mouth without being taken care of, and it starts spreading to your lungs, to the inside, it causes a lot of obstruction of breathing. So the minute somebody is starting to feel they have a sore throat, they're having a challenge, they need to urgently take the garlic to eliminate the virus that is already accumulated in that area before it goes down. But even after it has gone down, as they take medication, garlic is a very good product to think about. And remember, it's a combination of four things, garlic, uh, onion, chives, and leeks. That's why it's called a complex. And the beauty is it has something called allicin. You know, when you eat, when you're cooking garlic, that smell or the onion, that smell that gets off, that is called allicin. And when it escapes, it doesn't help you. You need that smell inside the body to smoke down all those things 
And those, the early thing is the one that has the best in terms of uh, the components you need in your system to clear the system and do the things that we've talked about. So it's a complex and the early thing will not be interfered with at the digestion level. It goes up to the small intestines to burst there. And once it bursts, it goes to do its work without having to go through digestion. That's why it's very powerful. And it will not give you a bad garlic smell as long as you are taking a lot of water. Then of course we have better guard. Better guard is good because in any area where you are hearing immunity issues, people need to, to detoxify. And so in it, we have that uh, the immune part of it because it has some antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. Actually in it, there's zinc. In it, there's uh, some bit of uh, carotins that are very serious immune boosters. So better guard is also a very good product in that area. It's good for cancer patients. Once they've gone through their chemo and they've stayed for, a, for some months, they can do the better guard to clear the effects of the medication. You know, because medication, when it stays in the body, and people who take a lot of medication need to take their, their better guard. Um, then I've looked at the better guard there. Zinc. We all know what zinc can do. No one in, in this, who doesn't need to, who needs to be taught about zinc? And we know it is at the warehouse right now. Please, you need to run for it before it runs out. Because definitely in a few days, it's gonna run out. And by the time they are bringing another one, and why it's running out is because of the demand. So one of the things you need to understand is that zinc is there. When people look at the zinc milligrams, because some people are, have really read about this COVID, They'll ask you, why is it having small milligrams? The reason is the foods we eat have a lot of zinc here and there. Zinc is available in quite a number of the foods, the variety of foods that we eat. And so even when you are taking it as a supplement, you don't take it in very high dosage. So the dosage recommended is good enough as an add-on. And if somebody has a challenge of immunity, they can take one tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening. There are people who choose, I can take one a day because they are having a normal life, they don't have a challenge. But anyone who is saying I have signs of COVID, I'm having signs of immunity, um, having challenges of taste, because the minute you have COVID, your taste and your smell goes away. Zinc will be very important to bring back the smell and the taste faster because you can stay for weeks without smelling and tasting. That's one of the, the, the challenges that COVID is bringing in. So you can mention that as a benefit. Uh, it's very, very important. Um, sometimes when zinc is not there, just know it's in multi-mineral. So you don't have to worry so much whenever it's not there. It has its benefits for about our children. Our children, remember we talked about tree and N. We have Vita Squares. Vita Squares has TNN and it has 18 vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C. So when we don't have the C chewable, just tell your customers comfortably that vitamin, Vita Square has sufficient vitamin C for the children. Yeah? In the vitamins and minerals, vitamin C is, is there. And so they are able to, uh, to be covered with all the others and vitamin A and all the others, very critical. Then VitaGuard is an equivalent of the phyto defense that we've talked about. So VitaGuard is there. And when someone asks, do I need both? Tell them if you can afford, yes. If you can afford, yes. You can buy two of them, very, very important. Then the other thing is Liquivite. For the children who cannot swallow, young children, the Liquivite is a mixture of Vita Square and VitaGuard. So any child who cannot swallow, please let them have the, the liquid bite. The dosage is there, depending with the age of the child. And the grown-ups who say, I, can, I don't like eating medications. I don't like swallowing. I don't like. That's OK. Tell them you can buy your Vita Squares and Vita Guard and eat them. Yeah, they can buy and eat them. That's OK. It, it still give them the vitamins they need. Because hakuna vitamin am ne amtumzima. It's just that these ones are done in such a way that they are appealing to a child for them to be able to mumunya like a sweet. 
So even the, our older pa, uh, grandparents who don't like swallowing, Vitagard, Vitas Square can be good. Then, of course, the well, other three. Very important. Uh, cool. Wanyonyi, please uh, mute yourself. Thank you. Then we have the salmon. So, he keeps on muting himself. Yeah. So, yeah, there we are. You have a healthy children there. We have our healthy self. And I'm done. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm going to turn on the meeting to the next speaker. Uh, if you have any question, remember always as a distributor. Um, as a distributor, uh, you can always ask a question there. Very, very important. In, in the chat, you can mention what you want to mention there. Or you can talk to your sponsor. If your sponsor is around, ask them what there is that you need to do much more. Otherwise, I'm pushing this meeting to Kissinger to close for us. Thank you very much for listening in. Kissinger, over to you, please. Hi, Gladi. Hi. Am I already by now? Yes. You can go on. Right, thank you so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you've done. I think I've learned something, and I've realized one thing is that uh, the more we attend this meeting, the more we become better. And uh, I wish you could be there physically to clap for you. You've done well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I also want to thank each one of us who are attending the meeting today. I believe you learned something, because knowledge is power. The more you learn more about these products, the more you get the confidence, the more you get the energy, the more you get the know-how on how to explain to people. Because nobody will buy something from you if you don't know what you are selling to them. You must know what you are selling to people before they buy it from you. And after knowing more about if, it, if it's carotenoid complex, you must use it because people buy you first before, before they buy anything else. And if you're not using these products, nobody will buy from you. because they will know that you're lying to them. Let us not be hypocrites. Let's use the products. Let's be the first people. Because people will look at you. Because the beauty about our products is that when you use them, you become an example. And people will be able to buy from you because we're looking good. As I want to thank you so much, each one of us, for attending the session today. Thank you so much, Gladys, for training us. We always rely on you. You're a great trainer. We are proud to have you. And when I joined in our life, you're among the people that I've learned from. Anytime you train, I must be there to listen to you. Thank you so much, Gladys. As I said, I just want to encourage each one of us that um, I've been in this business for the last 13 years, and I thank God for what I am today. I've enjoyed, I've applied the basics using the products, sharing the products, and sharing the opportunity. And um, I'm just here to give you a word of, a, a word of encouragement and uh, to tell you that. Um, Whatever you're going through right now, all the challenges you're facing right now, all of us who have made it in low life went through them. And you see, success is not easy. It takes a sacrifice because it's not convenient. It only comes to those who are ready to sacrifice and pay a price. So what am I saying? Look at anybody who has succeeded in any venture, not even neo life alone. They've gone through a lot. And what you need to do is that the bit about neo life is that we train you, we make you better. I want to encourage you, please, 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 never miss any Zoom meeting. Don't look at the bundles that you are, you mean, don't look at the money you're spending in terms of bundles. Don't look at the time. Look at the benefits you're going to get in the long run. When I joined in your life, you're doing physical meetings. Me, I was based in Akuru, but I was going for trainings in Nairobi. Every Saturday, going for trainings in Nairobi. And that's why today I am what I'm today, today, because of the training and because of the knowledge. And we have people like Gladys, like Agnanga, and other leaders at our PT Judy. I'm very sure you can grow if you're serious in your life because of the knowledge you'll be getting in this opportunity. Now, there is uh, just a few questions that I want you to ask yourself that will enable you to be able to grow in your life. Just a few questions. Possibly, if you have a pen and paper, you can write them down. And this question will be able to assist you to be able to know if you are growing or why you are where you are today. Now, I usually ask these questions many a times when I want to encourage people. And the first question is, 
write it down if you can write it down. Ask yourself every day, why am I on earth? That's the first question. Always ask yourself, why am I on earth? Why was I born on this earth? It's a very powerful question that you may underestimate that question. But if you realize why you're born on earth, definitely. If you realize your purpose on earth, the other question is, what is my purpose on earth? What is my purpose on earth? Because if you don't understand your purpose on earth, you'll never find any fulfillment on earth. Please, please, please know why were you born on earth? What is your purpose on earth? Then another question is, if I die today or if I die tomorrow, what legacy will I live on this earth? What legacy will I live on this earth? How many lives will I have touched on this earth when I go six feet under? How many lives will I have touched when I go six feet under? The other question is that, which I mean, I've talked about the legacy. Now, which mark will I leave when I, which mark will I leave? The other question is that, who will cry when I die? Ask yourself these questions. Who will cry when I die? Because you see, there are people And uh, many people will say today I'm well. I had a challenge with money. Today I'm I'm okay. I had, I wanted to travel. Today I'm traveling. Why? Because you've touched people's lives. So please, please, please. What is your purpose on earth? How many lives have you touched? How many people out there are talking positive about you? Now, apart from that, the other question you need to ask yourself is why did I join our life? Why am I in our life? Why life? That question you need to ask yourself any time, any time. Why did I join our life? What is in me in our life? What is in me? Am I happy with the progress so far in my life business? Am I happy with the progress so far in my life? Giving my best in this business, especially two hour, at least two hours daily. Am I giving my best in this opportunity, especially to us daily? That, that if I'm life, am I giving a lot of excuses? Am I giving a lot of excuses? Because in life, you either give excuses or you give reasons. You can ask, are poor because of a disease we call exercises, exercises and complaining. Now, you may be complaining, I don't have money. You may be complaining, I don't have money to buy products. My people are not buying products. Good. Now, instead of complaining, what are you doing about it instead of complaining? What about it instead of complaining? The other question you ask yourself is that if others are succeeding in our life, either to points, 500 points, why not me? Why not me? If others are succeeding, making 250 points, making 500 points, why not me? What are they doing that I'm not doing? What are they doing? To learn from them is very, very important to learn from them. Then the other question is that, you see, nobody will follow in your life if you're not a source of hope. Ask another, another question you need to ask yourself is, am I a source of hope to help out there? Am I a How do you expect them to join you? How do you expect them to join you? Because you wake up every day to talk about problems, 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 problems. Now, how will somebody follow you if you're talking about problems? Now, what you need to do is just become a source of hope. Start talking about your dreams. Start talking about the things you're going to achieve in your life. Every day, talk about your dreams. Talk about your dreams. Talk about your dreams. Talk about your dreams. Why, why your dreams? Because success is 90% why. Success is 90% why and 10% how. Success is 90% why and 10% how. Why, why, why 90% why? The why is the dream. What made you to join our life? Now, if you know why you join our life, that plays the 90% of your success. If you understand why you join our life, you've already accomplished the 90%. Many of us are not succeeding because we don't know why you join. Because if you have a dream, if you know why you join our life, and if you know where you're going, people will listen to you, people will follow you. Because nobody will follow you, nobody will listen to you, nobody will want to come close to you 
if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know where you're going. So the most important thing in your life that will assist you to grow is know why you joined now life. Where am I going? Because you'll only influence people if you know where you're going. Nobody will follow you. You'll not be able to influence anybody if you don't know where you're going. So please, 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 please know where you're going. And any other question you need to ask yourself. And when you see right now we're going to bed. I know all of us to Tashkuru Mungu for having given us a good day. But when you wake up every morning, after thanking God for that morning, every morning when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, why am I waking up this morning? Why am I alive this morning? Why am I alive? Because when God gives you another day in the morning, why is God giving you another day? God is giving you another day so that you touch people's lives. Mungu wajakupa tu siku wa muke uende God gives us another day to make a positive difference in people's lives. So when you wake up every morning, you listen. How many lives am I touching today? How many people am I giving hope today? How many people am I talking today? When you're going to challenge flying, come diabetes, I'm a cancer. For that, I'm able to help them. So please, don't wake up kama mnyama. Usiamuka kama mnyama because 95% ya utu limuenguni huamuka tu asubuhi kwa sababu kumekucha. And that's why, Julize, am I one of them? I've said, let me repeat. 95% of people on this earth only wake up in the morning just because it's in the morning. Julius as well, am I part of them? Usiamuke tu asubuhi kwa sababu kumekucha, always have a reason of waking up in the morning. Always have a reason of waking up in the morning. And what is that reason? Please, please, that reason is should be to touch other people's lives every day. To touch other people's lives every day. But just know that for you to be able to achieve this dream, because you must have that dream for you to be able to achieve it, for people to follow you. You must know that those dreams for you to be able to achieve them, you must be ready to go through challenges. You must be ready to go through challenges. And there's beauty about loving challenges because when you love challenges, you grow. And nobody in life, nobody in life, nobody in life has grown without challenges. Nobody, nobody. I love one thing about our president, Uru Kinyata. The first time Uru Kinyata was vying for presidency, he, fe- Alianguka. he didn't make it, but he didn't give up. He came back again. Today is our president. What am I saying? Failure is good. Failure is good. The more you fail, the more you become disciplined, the more you learn, and the more you become good in anything. So what am I saying? Please, please, please embrace failure. Embrace failure. The more times you fail, the more times you learn. And the bit about is that you don't become a failure. You don't become a failure when you fail, when you fall down. You don't become a failure when you fall down. You only become a failure when you stay there. You don't become a failure when you fail. You only become a failure when you stay there. And many times, utapata kuwa, for those who are good in swimming, when you ukianka kwa maji, you don't drown when you fall inside water. You only drown, drown when you stay there. So many times, challenges are good because a challenge will define you. And a mark of a winner is only defined when you're going through challenges. A mark of a winner is only defined when you're going through challenges. So anytime you're going through a challenge, please love challenges. Love challenges. I love one thing about an eagle, an eagle, because an eagle is only bad that God compares to when it comes to humanity. An eagle has seven pure principles, and one of the best principles I like about an eagle is that an eagle loves challenges. Why challenges? Wakati kuna nyeshele mvuambaya, all the birds go to the nest to rest and sleep. But an eagle, wakati kuna nyeshele mvuambaya, the storms, that's the time an eagle goes out of the nest. It takes advantage of the wind to fly high above, more like another bird. And that's why an eagle can fly even above the clouds. Why am I saying that? Because challenges will make you good. Challenges will make you sharp. Challenges will make you better. And let me go through the Bible, Kidogo, because the best book I like quoting is the Bible. And nobody in the Bible has made it without challenges. Nobody. All the big names in the Bible, all the big names in the Bible, they are only big names after a challenge. Now, the first big name in the Bible is the Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now, look at what Jesus went through. Ali Katalio Pakanatwak Kwauko. Nazareth. Everybody, what wakam kata? Look at what he went through. Today, Jesus is the savior you have. What am I saying? Jesus had to go through a lot of challenges, a lot of problems that to be able to come and save mankind. What is today because of challenges? 
kuweza kupata mtoto everything you went through today abraham is a big name abraham is a father of faith he is our father in the bible look at joseph one of the big names in the bible where he alipitia challenges zote he was a slave to the extent whereby all the brothers wake wakam wakam fanya all things that did to him joseph became one of the ministers a minister because of what he went through look at somebody like david 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 could not be a big name without goliath so the biggest challenge got got put a, a, ahead of him was goliath so he had to go through goliath as a challenge for him to be a big name look at daniel daniel wakati alirusha kwa zile lions why mungu alimweka kwa challenge for him to have a big name he came out of the den of lions look at moses being a Egypt na wengine look at Joshua so that apeleka wana Israeli Canaan what did he go through a lot paka to an extent by his wife died to an extent by he to test his faith today Joshua is a big name Zakayo god without Zakayo being short na kupanda mti hangekuwa jina kubwa kwa biblia god put a challenge ahead of him he had to be short apande mti today Zakayo is a big name in the bible look at Meshach Shadrach and Abednego wakati wa mambo ya mambo ya moto na kila kitu today they are big names in the bible what am i saying if god wants to bless you he puts a challenge ahead of you when to test your faith and those challenges they just there to test your faith look at job what he went through the everything today job is a big name in the bible elijah through ahab's wife look at paul what he went through look at stephen being stoned to death is a big so what am i saying any big name in the bible challenge that was ahead of that big name so what am i saying challenges are good to test us challenges are good to sharpen us challenges are good to make us grow and without challenges we cannot become better so let me encourage each one of us please 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 embrace challenges embrace challenges life for quit in this business you not regret by being patient but you only regret by quitting and winners never quit tough time a tough people like me and you will others i want to wish you all the best and thank you for being part of this opportunity we love you so much we are proud to have you we are proud of our present team pt judy she was not able to be with us this evening others you are the best that there is just know that when you are born god planted a seed of greatness inside you and me God planted a seed of greatness inside you and that's why on the sixth day when he's creating a human being hicho kiumbe alikufurahia na akasema ni kiumbe kizuri and the most powerful gift that you ever given as per the bible is a powerful gift of dominion power of everything which means you have all the power and i love one verse philippians 4:13 talks about that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me what does that mean if you're a christian confess about that verse anytime anytime and i believe if god is with us who can be against us others i want to wish you the best let's make november the best month and may god grant you and grant all of us the desires of our hearts thank you so much bye bye gladi bye bye Gladys Thanks Kizinja thank you very much thank you thank you